Hey everybody, Ryan Dunleavy, Keith Sargent. You can probably hear in my voice a 56 nothing loss for Rutgers. So I say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, so I thought they were over losses like this. Shame on me. What, is, what about you? Uh, okay, so I went down to the field with about five minutes ago in the game. I just wanted to focus on Graciano, and you know, sure enough, everyone saw it with about 40, 40 seconds left in the game. Rutgers was attempting to, to kick a field goal, a meaningless field goal, 56 nothing. But clearly, just trying to break the shot out, and and as it's the what ball, Georgia State did last as the ball doings off the, the upright, oh, literally, Graciano. And you might not like me saying this on video, but I, I watched it and you know, I was focusing on him. Literally, let out a belly laugh. I mean, he literally. Oh. This was a literal laugher. When people say, "Oh, yeah. a laugher," you sit here that's saying it's sports all the time. This was a literal laugh. Oh, that's that's brutal. I saw I State celebrate. I asked Ash. What did that bother you? Because I mean, listen, Politi and I made a big deal two weeks ago when uh, Penn State tried to stop Georgia State from doing it. Rutgers is Georgia State right now, yeah. and uh, Ash said he would have done the same thing. Actually, he too. threw his headset yeah. down. Apparently, I saw. Yeah, yeah. and he said he would have done the same thing. But that we're just focusing on that overall big picture. Um, Rutgers just another game where it looked just like last year. Yeah, I mean, you just yeah, everyone knew it was going to be a total to order. No one expected them to win this game, but you kind of wonder after this performance, like when's the next win coming? And as you pointed out, in your, you know, the, the secondary that's one a oh big my picture. God. That's that's the takeaway. Man, that's, if you want a big picture takeaway, who's playing in the secondary now? I, I mean, Rashad Blunt was playing receiver on Tuesday when we were at practice. I know. I mean, <clears throat> that, I don't know where they go in the secondary. Where where do you go at quarter? Would you start Jonathan Lewis? No. No, you know, just throw away this. I mean, he's just not ready. I mean, he's just not ready. And I don't think... Do you start uh, Gio? I, I consider Gio. I was going to ask you that. I mean, I think Gio would be someone, you know, again, you don't want to throw away what training camp was Listen, and I, uh, everything, but, you know, I... I, I, I mean, it's not a now. secret. I like Gio a lot. Yeah. Uh, I pushed for him in the preseason a little bit, and I like Kyle Bowen a lot. And Kyle Bowen handled himself very well in the post game tonight. Um... I, as a side note, I highly suggest you read the 10 quotes thing that I'm going to do because there were a lot of good quotes uh, from that after a 7-8 double loss. But back to Gio, I consider starting him, but he's playing in 56 nothing games. Like yeah. that, He was a starting quarterback last season. He's a great kid, so he's not going to say anything, but that has to be, I don't know, humbling for him. Two weeks, Real quick. Two weeks ago, they have a bye now. Do they beat Illinois? I don't think so. I mean, I... I did. If you asked me that at four o'clock today, I would have said yes, but uh, I don't think so. I mean, not not. I gotta know if H if Hampton's healthy, if Hester's healthy. If the game was tomorrow, they would not be the only. I do know that Craig Giano has a pretty good defense. He does. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes he does. Um, that's all from a empty High Point Solution Stadium, about as empty as it was in the third quarter. Um, Key Sergeant Ryan Dunleavy. Stay tuned, nj.com slash Rutgers. I'll have all the post-game coverage, coverage throughout the bye week if you can handle it.